Hello and welcome to Sheltered. This is Season 1, Episode 1. I am Lord Arcadis, and this game hasn't been out for very long. If I remember correctly, it's only been out for maybe like four days, something like that. And I decided I wanted to make a Let's Play about it, and just enjoy. So, basically what it is, is uh, I've already used this. Uh, the Smith family has survived for 15 days. Actually, I, I, I named him something different, but okay, that's... I, I, I really don't care as much. Basically, uh, you survive in an underground bunker with a group of people, and basically try to see how long you can survive. So, I'm going to be going with Arcadis, and I'm going to try to get him as close to my skin color as possible. Uh, that seems about right. Hair color, I am going to... Uh, that was close enough-ish, actually. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, head type, I really don't care. That's actually a good enough hair color. Uh, body type. Uh, I guess I'll go with that and... Oh, there we go. Some sort of military clothing or something. Because it looks good. And top color, I'll go with that. Now, traits here, I actually prefer to go with uh, resourceful. And since I'm going to be pr the primary, uh, I guess, scavenger, I'm going to have this. Okay. Street smart is good for perception. Perception determines how good your looting is. Resourceful, if I remember correctly, gives you more loot. Or if uh, it allows you to be easier to f uh, it helps you find things basically. Uh, you can also get some bad traits, which can happen and usually will happen. So yeah, just be warned, it does happen. Uh, strength is uh, determines how well your melee is. Dexterity determines how fast you run. I'm pretty sure guns and stuff like that don't get affected by dexterity but I'm not sure. So I really haven't tested this too much. I mean, I survived for like 15 days and everyone was dying with uh, food poisoning. Uh, intelligence, I think, allows you just overall benefits to smaller things. Charisma helps in talking with people. And I think this intelligence also affects how well you are at building things. So I'm going to have a kind of a diverse build for this uh, family. Next, Sarah, I might just randomize this, but it, yeah, it doesn't really matter as much. The main things I want are, I need a, uh, a person who's good at, I kind of want two scavengers and to recon slash builder, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, hands on, which means they're good with people. I think I haven't really uh, done too much with that, but yeah, charisma is really good for that. Uh, I think that's the highest charisma you can get. The yeah, good upbringing. So yeah, Sarah is the wife, I guess. Next, Frank. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I want to have the, what is it, optimistic. Optimistic, I think, means they're resistant to being, I guess, affected by a lot of things. I'm actually going to go with small eater for both of the children. What was it? Alert was good for perception. If you want to have a scavenger child, I might actually go with that because it's useful. Next. And... There we go. One of a male and female child, just because it's fun to do that. Uh, well spoken. I already have my charisma user, so usually I would uh, usually what I would do was 
uh, go brain box because it affects the building because I guess that's good. Courageous, I think it means you are better in combat, but I don't really think I need that for the most part. Deep sleeper, I'm pretty sure, makes you sleep better. Proactive, I am not sure what it does directly, but uh, let's go with small eater. Yep, small eater. Next. The Smith family, or the survivalist family is... The survivalist family. And only one person looks out of place. <laughs> uh, the pet, you can actually have a cat or a dog. I prefer the dog. And the pet's name... Hmm. Thor. Next. Would you like to play the tutorial? No. Because I already pretty much played the tutorial and it was uh, not very helpful. By the way, uh, yes, tip, gas masks are good. I mean, like, really good. You can't survive without them type good. Uh, now if you look at this, right click, view, this basically shows you this. By the way, you can only pause the game in one of these menus. So, yeah. That's always fun. By the way, these X's don't always work. I have to actually use escape. So, whatever is wrong with this, I literally cannot actually press this. I, I'm. You can hear me clicking. I cannot do anything with that. And that happens with a lot of menus. So, uh, first things first. I want you go down here, upgrade. You can almost always go to the first upgrade. I suggest getting it at all times. Uh, I think. Uh, by the way, I always scroll these down because it's so much more useful. Uh, who is good at intelligence? Okay. I guess I'm good with intelligence. But what I'm going to do is the first things first set up an expedition. I need him to go out. Next person, you can assign other people, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, first thing, I need to just check what's here. There's a school, small farm, and a house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the small house. This does require water, by the way, so just just being careful. Yeah, I, I can't scroll out without it moving. I'm going to go to the small farm and the school. I'll keep an eye on these locations and try to get, uh, try to do that, uh, or try to get as much material from them as possible. I don't like that it actually moves to that after you moved off the thing. Uh, you can take some fuel, which I would suggest if you're going, if you're going to go trade, but, okay, <laughs> you can right click and it sends it to that, but, uh, equip, I actually would re uh, like that it had the opposite, that you right click and it opens that menu. But I guess that's however they want. Do not try to sell your radiation uh, tablets. If any of your people get radiation sickness from some sort of uh, event, yeah, they now re they would then rely on that. Otherwise, they die. And I'm pretty sure that happens. Like Im that starts happening immediately. So uh, I, ooh, I kinda. Yeah, I, I kind of want just... I'll go with one. And, well, that does reduce my ability to carry things. I do need to have a trade, if, I, if at all possible, to get as much food as possible. Are you sure? Yes. You have to open the doors. Don't open both these doors. You will cause radiation leaks, which is a problem. When it is raining, that's good. Uh, one of the first things I would suggest doing: craft item. I'm pretty sure you can. I, I don't like that uh, thing there, but uh, oh yeah, I, I can't make it. At least not yet. I have to uh, wait for that for right now. Let's see. 
The generator runs on fuel. In fact, I'm actually going to... Ooh. Incoming, by the way, you have to do these before anyone will actually do anything there. He, I will have... Check in, yeah, check on upgrades. Ooh, I actually have 25 metal. That's pretty impressive. Mm. Uh, really don't see the point in doing that one yet. Except transmission, examine items. This is where you actually check this. By the way, fuel. There's whenever you see fuel, just add it to your list of items. Next, I want that. Rope, rope is really useful, and cement. I would suggest trying to load up as much as uh, possible and dumping off anything you don't need on secondary locations. And continue doing that until you completely exhaust all the uh, resources in one area. Then mark it off, and if I remember correctly, you can return to that place like in 7 or maybe 15 days and items may recycle. I can't remember. There was, I think I had visited a place I had completely tapped, uh, tapped out just to see what happened. And I think I found a whole new set of items, including a rifle and some ammo. I think it was like a police station. And uh, I'll take plastic because plastic is useful. All this stuff is useful, but uh, that metal might actually be useful. But yeah, I'm, gonna co uh, I'm going to confirm that. Yes, always go for food. Drop anything else. Uh, who was the one I was wanting? You the one? Yeah, you're the one. Okay. Take the suit. Accept transmission. Search location. She's actually going to go and immediately upgrade this with, I think it was decontamination resistance. Uh, really, I like the durability because these things are kind of a time consumer to keep repairing but yeah you want one of these to always be affected so I'm gonna go with durability for this one uh, this is a event where they actually have you talk to a person this doesn't always happen but it usually does and we'll see here uh, we'll see here hey hold up there do you have a good place to stay uh, he's basically asking to uh, get recruited. Reject this always is sad, but they may have good stats for a lot of them, and for good ones, you might want to do that, but I, I forgot to actually check and see if you could actually see those stats beforehand. And the main issue with that is that uh, it's just a. Ooh, I can't take any more fuel. Always take the fuel, uh, the food. Take the plastic. Anything that stacks a lot. Uh, leather is really good initially. Once you get the second uh, thing, but I actually kind of want. I kind of want the gas mask because that basically replenishes the gas mask I was I used on this. By the way, these are one-time use only, and they're really not cheap to come by. I actually ended up having something like 20 of these during one of my uh, during my one playthrough where I haven't even died yet but it's not that bad. So confirm. Open that. Close that. And they're going to go repair things. By the way, scrolling in this game is really odd because it doesn't always do it. I, I've noticed that happen, uh, that happening before, but uh, uh, and food can only be stored up to twenty in the small initial one, but that's why you want to start uh, filling that up as uh, as soon as possible. Examine items. Uh, food there. Ooh, I should have taken that leather because that leather would have immediately helped. Okay, that book is really valuable and really useful. I needed that uh, gas mask. I can actually go out for another run just for no reason. This area is actually not that bad. So for five water, I'm 
pretty well set here. Uh, I want that food, but I can't really take it right now. These uh, plastic is really valuable. Rope is really valuable only under certain conditions. And right now, I need food and I need. I'm going to take these books, they're valuable. <laughs> I need him to do stuff because I don't like having idle time. Okay. You. You're intelligent, yes? Okay. What I need you to do. Craft item. I need you to immediately make a bed. Beds are very valuable. In that basically they allow you to... Okay, yeah, I thought I heard something there. Open that. Oh. And let him in. He's going to go through a perception bonus here. This is basically showing you the uh, experience he's gained from scavenging. Perception is basically scavenging. And this is the transferring of items. You start out with 32, I, uh, I guess, max storage. And we actually made out pretty, uh, made out pretty well with uh, equipment. So take everything off this person, because if you don't, they will destroy it. And always close the door. Yeah, they knock at the door and try to get in. Yes, I know. By the way, you return suit. That filter will stay useful for a while. By the way. Uh, if this thing gets dirtiness, it becomes poisonous. Uh, whoever's wanting to sleep the most right now, which is probably you, you are hungry, but uh, he needs a shower. So, next thing we're going to do is craft a couple items. Go to the tier 2, because this is almost always the best initial items you want. You don't want to do anything with tier 1, other than, like, say, the gas mask and if, if I remember correctly the incinerator was useful too but I really didn't get much about that uh, main thing we wanted that cement for was this because yeah I like expanding the base but hmm. we're going to build a toilet and we're going to build oh, you or you, yeah, you will craft item, build a, oh, did I have him building a toilet? I, oh yeah, he's definitely building a toilet. Hey, you get back here. Craft item. Shower. Now the shower, uh, th there's a couple issues with the shower, but basically as long as it's raining, it's good. Okay. I need him to actually build something else. And I almost forgot about this because this is actually bad if I had forgotten this. Uh, I need another water butt. Water butts are basically the storage of water. And without it, you die. And without this, I, I actually can't do anything with this yet because I need to rearrange shelter. Which is annoying, but yes, you have to do this a lot. At least initially. And what I usually do is I move everything in weird orders, if I remember correctly. Your dog will starve to death if you don't feed the dog, so yeah, just keep that in mind. What I usually do is I do that and get that out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Press space, right click, craft item. Actually, I want to go with him, craft item, medium water, but you always want to go with the higher tier one because the higher it is, the better. Uh, he's hungry, so have him eat. Uh, I do have issues with food poisoning. I might have to move this, but yeah, you're hungry. Uh, you are good with sleep, so press C to cancel. 
She's then going to sleep. You can actually queue things up. And what's going to happen now is going to craft some stuff and the incinerator I I find uh, I find it a problem to find hinges but what she's going to do is create a new room we're going to build one right there if I remember correctly she's really intelligent there okay so she should make quick uh, quick work of this and get this done if you if you also notice you see a bunch of this stuff building up yeah uh, craft item mop and bucket this is one of the few items I say usually hold off on as long as you can but it does start getting really messy in here really quick and I think I actually probably need to schedule another run but he needs to go and at any time during the water rain or during the rain time it is best to actually take showers if you need to I would suggest take a shower because it will use a lot of water and try to get this down to I want to say a quarter it will use a significant amount of water you can also speed up time but I usually don't when I'm doing this uh, get it to about a quarter or about here it should be fine and then he can actually go out after she sleeps and he might be a traitor he might not be I don't care let's cancel this because that will use a lot of water if you don't and oh, yeah he's definitely a traitor or something next he has to basically I, I don't like this and by the way these things don't go away ever and this one, I'm. St oh yeah, I, you have to actually respond to it before it actually goes away. Still alive in there. I got some nice goods available for trade. You want uh, make a deal? Yes. Try to always take a look at the deal because these guys. Okay, yeah, he's definitely got a. He's got a good a couple of items. Well, I would suggest take that and that ooh, that's and ooh. okay he's a direct uh, trader which means you can trade water which is actually pretty valuable I wouldn't suggest doing that unless it's raining uh, don't trade anything that is really valuable but uh, there, there's only a couple things that you would want to trade one being fuel other being uh, spare parts that you have an excess of and right now I don't have really much of an excess of anything so I can trade him that and I want to take something else that's cheap because cheap stuff is good and he's got a lot of cordite uh, there we go trade that two fuel for a bunch of materials that I really needed and one of the main things uh, that will help with is craft item tier two yay I can now make that Ooh, rain on the surface by the way if this is black rain it usually means that there's some sort of poison in it so be careful hmm. other than that till next time if you like what you're watching subscribe if not oh well have a nice day See you on the next episode.